What if I told you there was a legal way to copy the trades of the likes of Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Bill Ackman, Bill Gates, and you could do it at no cost for free and see exactly where they enter trades in the stock market? No, like seriously, exactly where they enter the trades. Copying people does not necessarily mean you're guaranteed to win, but when you collect enough data of enough specific investors, I'm talking the biggest investors, the whales, the guys with over a hundred million dollars in their portfolio, and you put them together and you find out, hey, they're all buying this one stock, that's when things can get good for your portfolio. And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about in today's video. So with that said, we're gonna go over to the computer here and I'm gonna introduce you to my friend and one of my favorite websites to do with financials, which is dataroma.com. You can see on here on dataroma.com, there's a lot going on. And when we click the home tab, that's what it's going to look like when you first log in. Now this is all about super investors. This helps us understand where the money is for investors over $100 million. Super cool to understand and see in real time what they are doing with their money and what their feed is doing. You can see right here the super investor portfolio updates. These are all updates in real time. Take a look at this. I can go down. You'll notice some names. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Trust was updated on the 14th of February. And I can click on that and start to see their updates, their history, what they have been doing, what they have been purchasing in specific quarters. Now we're gonna get into all of that, but the first thing I wanna show you guys today is how to find SEC filings because it's a lot of fun to check that out. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to go over to real time. When we click on real time, these are people that have filed transactions. They're all super investors over the last six months. And we can see when and where they bought things. Now, obviously, you can follow anybody you like. I've just simply mentioned a couple investors at the start of the video. In fact, let's go down and you guys will notice that later in the 2022 year, Berkshire Hathaway invested heavily into this company right here, Occidental Petroleum Corporation, ticker symbol Oxy. When I click on the date, you'll see they're purple because I've already opened these before. I can actually see the filing. Now, granted, when I go to the filing, you'll notice that these filings here are all different in terms of dates, and I can see multiple filings in here as well. But when I look at this, notice he bought 1.54 million shares at $57 a share for $189 million in value on the 26th right here. So I can get an idea, where is he buying at? It's very easy. Look at the price gap. 57.91 down to 61.37. And if I were to open up TradingView and open up the Oxy ticker symbol, you can see that I have already for you guys etched out the Warren Buffett zone, as I like to call it. This is the area of Oxy as to where Warren Buffett has bought the bulk of his shares. Now, that's not to say that he won't do it again or maybe add more positions into the future. But this is the area, 57 to 61, where he bought the bulk of his shares. What does this mean for you? That means that the price currently in this level at the time of the recording of this video is in the same zone that Warren Buffett himself purchased that stock. Now, granted, I'm not saying just go blindly into this trade now and say, well, Warren Buffett did it, but take a look at it. It might give you a secondary set of eyes of something you already wanted to purchase. So that's the first segment of this website that I want to show you, which again is the real time tab. Now, when I go back, I think it's very important also to go to the S&P 500 grid. And I got to be honest, this is the secret sauce. This is how I make decisions on what stocks I wanna buy coming into the future. And when I click on the S&P 500 grid, you're gonna see at the top here, this is going to allow me to see by ownership, percentage of portfolio, last quarter's buys, last six month buys, last quarter sells, last six month sells, knowing exactly where we are at. Now, if I click last six month buys, what this is going to show me is the exact stocks that super investors like and how many of them are buying those stocks. So what is the number one stock that all of the super investors 
together in a conglomerate want to buy? What's the number one stock they are all buying most aggressively? The answer is Meta. Of all of the super investors, that is the most purchased stock of all of them. And they started buying this months and months ago and they will continue to buy this and we'll be able to watch this change. Take a look at this. 28 super investors have bought Meta. 27 super investors have bought Amazon. 24 super investors have bought Microsoft. 20 super investors have bought Google. 16 have bought Salesforce, which is CRM. 15 have bought Disney. 12 have bought Apple. Now, why I mention that to you could mean two things for you. Number one, it might mean, wow, I need to add some of these stocks to my portfolio. Maybe these is, this is something that I should put in my portfolio. But secondly, I think you should think about it a little bit different. Of these stocks, which ones have been hurt in the last six to 12 months? Or which ones are hurting right now? And in this example, I want to show you CRM. Now, when I pull up CRM, you guys can see that the current price of CRM is in the whereabouts of $164 a share. That is 46% off of its highs. That was at 300 plus a share. That means that super investors are currently buying a stock or a company that is currently 46% off of the highs and they're doing it at a high level. Now, I'm not saying you have to jump right in right now, but let's take a look at this. Current price is $164 a share. If I go back to Dataroma and I go over to CRM, you can see that the average hold price of those 16 investors is that little red number or that little red text right there. Hold price, $133.20. That means that the entry of the super investor is currently better or lower than the current price. So what am I trying to say here? What's the golden lining here? Well, I'm not saying you shouldn't buy stocks that are down here, or you shouldn't buy stocks that are well above the buying price. But what you should look for is top stocks that currently have a average hold price that is higher than the current stock price. That means that you have successfully invested at a lower level than the average super investor. Now, there's some other cool things I want to mention to you guys about these super investors. First of all, you can go over here to super investors to see all of these people. So you might say, well, Patrick, I don't like Warren Buffett or I don't like Charlie Munger. That's okay. There's so many different investors that you might like to follow their strategy. For instance, you might say, I love Bill Ackman. Well, his top holding right now is Lowe's. That is 23.5% of his portfolio. He also holds... 13% in Canadian Pacific Railway. That might be interesting information to you. Go figure, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation owns what? Microsoft, to the tune of 26% of their portfolio. And you can see their exact reported price, which is where they are in. And then you can see how many stocks they hold here. And you can see the average value of their portfolio here. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Again, on average, this website is designed for people that are over $100 million in portfolio value. You'll notice a couple of those will be slightly below. You'll see in here, right here, $62 million in portfolio value. So some are just a tad, uh, a tad lower. Last but not least, going home to the home tab, you can update feeds. You can see the feeds over here. This gives you an idea of where the portfolio updates are lying. So I can see that there is an update to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation right here recently and I can also see what they have been doing recently so they've been adding to Ecolab Inc recently they've been reducing their shares in Berkshire Hathaway they've been buying DHR they've been buying HRL these are all of the things that they've been doing and this is information that I think should be helpful to you in your investments so with that said I hope this brings value to you guys. And secondly, if you want to know what the Fed is currently mentioning 
and going through right now with their Fed decisions, I recommend you go back on my channel to one of my previous videos where we talked about the Fed and the FOMC meeting minutes. As always, guys, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. It helps support this channel. It lets me continue to provide you this valuable content at no charge with no holds barred. There's no secret link down below to get coaching. It simply is me giving you as much knowledge as I can absolutely free. And as always, click the like button if you liked it, and we'll see you on the next video.